Hello, folks. Guess where we are? <laughs> we're we're in a Walmart pickup, and the, it never goes well for me. <laughs> whenever they come to do a pickup, they always have problems. They always um, seem to be aggravated because it takes forever. So this could go either way because I'm here and then he's here. I'm here. So uh, it never goes well for him and it always goes so well with me. I usually try to leave a tip for the person that brings the groceries out. My tip is do a better job of your job. <laughs> um, last week, I forgot to tell you that um, they did bring the, the guy that was bringing out the stuff. He was nice and on time. And but when he got to the bottom of, my, of the groceries, the bread was down there, and it was flat as a pancake. And he said, "Oh my God, Miss Lawson, I'm so sorry. Look what the, he says. I'm gonna have to go in and get you another um, bread order." So he took it and he went in, and he came back out and he was very apologetic and all of that. So he got a tip. So. And he says the he was upset with the people that packed it because he said that was so dumb to put bread in the bottom of the, the thing. Which... That way it cushions the canned goods. You see. <laughs> there's, there's a methodology. You want to cushion the canned goods, but you don't want them to get all bent up. So you put the bread there so they have nice soft cushion. But yeah, today's my day off. This is Thursday. Thursday. Um, I think it's the twenty what. I don't know Sixth. what day it is. Twenty sixth. But it's my no, day. No, twenty fifth. I'm sorry. My day off, and I have to work on Saturday. So we are um, doing some errands, and we went and had some coffee together. Real coffee. Real coffee, <laughs> and uh, and now we're here at a grocery pickup, and um, then then I'm gonna do a haul for you guys. We checked in about an hour ago. No, what? No, we is. didn't. We just got here, and it's not supposed to be ready until 1, and it's actually like 12. 50. 54. We got here like at um, about 12.50 uh, or so. Something like that. So, it's we'll okay. See. We'll see. I think, I may, maybe I'm just a little bit more patient. I don't know. No. No. <laughs> they, it just goes bad for you. I am the patient one. Yes, you are. I'm the impatient one, really. These people just... <laughs> We're see gonna we'll see, all see in a you bit. in a little bit. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> it's me again. Well, we made it home, and the pickup was not superb, <laughs> but um, I the people of today are just not taught how to talk to people. Um, we are in a society now that people just mumble or text. They don't know how to talk face to face, especially younger people. I apologize if that offends anybody, but it's just a fact. Customer service. Okay, now we're here to do a haul of what I got on my pickup from Walmart. Let's turn you guys around and we'll take a look. Okay, let's start over on this side here. We have our bread for the week um, on the Sara Lee brands that my family loves. Then we have here um, water supply. We have, a, um, of course, the Sam's Purified and then the uh, San Pellegrino is one of the bubbly waters that we like, sparkling waters rather. I really prefer Topa Chico, but that particular Walmart seems to never have it. So I have to go to Sam's Club or to Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie actually has a wide variety of, of beverages. So if you're needing beverages and uh, want to get good deals on them, Winn-Dixie is the place to go. So we go to Winn-Dixie a lot and get a, uh, beverages sometimes. Over here, we have uh, bananas, 
some uh, fruit for the week. Um, give me one second here. I forgot to bring my pineapple in here. Let's put her up there. I'm going to cut her up today um, and put it in the fridge because we finished our um, honeydew or golden melon for the week last night. So we're going to cut this baby up and put it in the fridge for a fruit salad and probably add the golden melon that I got um, today, which is like a baby one <laughs> compared to the one that I got last week. But oh, well, it is what it is. Up here, I have some hair products. As you can see, I'm a natural girl. I mean, totally natural now. I used to be natural and color, but I, in, during the pandemic times, I just let it all go. And now I'm totally natural with gray and my natural curls. So maybe I'll give you a video of me doing my hair one day. Here we have some sharp cheddar for um, meal prep for this coming week. We have uh, white American cheese, some uh, mixed vegetables. I go through a lot of vegetables because every time I make a meal, I make side vegetables and um, we go through quite a bit of those. I have these. The ones that the big bag that I wanted, they were out of. So this is a replacement. Got my lightly salted rice cakes that I like to have rice cakes and tomatoes with. We have some strawberries here to add to our fruit salad for the week. Have some lemons here for um to, to add to drinks, you know, tea, uh, sweet tea or water or whatever. We have one tomato, folks. <laughs> I requested the vine, the tomatoes on the vine, because those are usually the best tasting. So I guess they were out. They didn't say it was a substitute, but they gave me one tomato. No vine, one tomato. I'm pretty sure... This tomato is going to taste like water. That's why I never <laughs> order them here. And if I do get other types of tomatoes, I go to the vegetable market up the street. Okay, let's start back in the back. They finally had some crunchy natural peanut butter, chunky, which I like to put in my oatmeal bars. So I went ahead and got that. I have used two bottles of the natural peanut butter <laughs> that I had so many in the haul the other week. I've used up some of those. But the chunky is so much better in those oatmeal drop uh, energy balls. Here we have some peanut pan honey peanut butter. That's for PB&Js for the guys. Um, some of Alex's favorite fig bars. Now, these things here, I'm not quite sure how it got in my <laughs> groceries because I don't, nobody here likes Hostess stuff. And I did not order this. I guess they thought that was a replacement for the second pack of the Nature but. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened here, but somebody's missing their zingers in their in their uh, grocery haul. Um, here we have some great value chicken dipping sauce. If you like the Chick Fil A sauce, this tastes just like it. And my son <laughs> told me that if they're when they're out of the Chick Fil A sauce, to just get this because it tastes just like it. And the guys love this Chick Fil A sauce for putting on sandwiches and eating chicken. <laughs> um, trying something different for myself. I got some acai bowls, acai bowls. Um, I saw this on somebody's channel and I'm gonna eat like a half of that with some bananas and granola, whatever for a snack in the evenings. Uh, the mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. That's for a recipe that I'm working for meal prep. Got four cans of that. I usually only use two cans and I try to have some in the pocket 
in my pantry, but I was out of those. So that's a refresh and for my meal prep. Here we have some natural cranberry uh, juice. Um, every now and then I get like, uh, my kidneys want to <laughs> feel funny and I drink this when you get kidney infections and stuff like that. The Ocean Spray brand, this size was like $3. This particular bottle here, because I didn't want added sugar and all that stuff. I wanted pure, just cranberry juice. This thing here was like seven bucks. Seven bucks. <laughs> so I'll be drinking that a little, mixing it with water, and it's gonna last me <laughs> for a long time. Okay, right here we have ground turkey and there are actually two of these. I have some more ground turkey for my, uh, I'm, what I'm making is shepherd's pie. I'm making shepherd's pie this coming week for um, meal prep. And those are the mashed potatoes that I use for it. I have ground turkey, have those uh, mixed vegetables and the cream of mushroom soup along with the cheddar cheese. So I'll be showing you a little bit of the meal prep when I get to make that. That's one of my most popular meals with the guys. We have some great value chicken strips here. Some of those pepperoni bites that my son likes with that dipping sauce. Um, we have some hummus, um, the garlic flavor, and then the roasted pepper flavor. This right here, I was running low on this. I still have some, but I like this Himalayan pink salt, uh, garlic, and black pepper. It's great for seasoning. And Himalayan salt is better for you than using regular white salt. We have some regular eggs. And then we have some boiled eggs that we use for snacks and, and so forth. We have turkey breasts. This is only a pound and it's $11.15 a pound. Yeah. Prices, prices, prices. Then we have some uh, Mission Car Balance flour tortillas. Um, the um, Mexican pizzas that I made the other day and I showed you on a short clip. We I made those for like snacks and for breakfast. They can grab one. I, I bake them and then I fold them and put them in little contain in aluminum foil and they can just grab one when they're on the go. And and they it was just <laughs> it was just a made up recipe really and they loved it. So they're all gone. <laughs> And I thought we were going to have them for a meal, but then we just, I just said, oh, I'll just wrap them up and put them in the fridge, and it was a, a success. They really liked those. Some um, toasty crackers to add to our snack bin. Some dark chocolate, um, chocolate chips for my oatmeal bar, my oatmeal balls that I make, oatmeal energy bars, and some peanuts for my critters outside. I, I feed my squirrels, folks. Yes, I do. I love my little squirrels and birds. I buy bird feed and uh, peanuts for everyone that live in my trees outside my office window that I like to watch them. Enter they entertain me throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> so today is a Thursday and I'm off from work because I'll be working this Saturday. But um, it was a fun time this morning with my hubby. We went and had some coffee and drove around and it was a little breakfast date. So here we have it. Meal prep for the next week. And then, um, and I know how it's going to go next week because... I'm probably, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. So have a blessed week and remember we love you and there's nothing you can do about it.